bless the game. Team can't lose. Yeah, today we talking about stop running from the ugly truth, you know, because I I'd rather you know deal with the you know the hard stuff first, and it's usually the hard and it's the the, the um the hard ugly truth, you know, like everybody wants to like blame it on this or blame it on that, and sometimes a lot of this some stuff there's unique cases where like stuff is hereditary and stuff like that, but for the most part, you can't blame your parents or, you know, you, the way you begin on the way you're going to end. Because it's like, oh, yeah, you have no control over your beginning. That is true. Cool. You know, it, it, it's effed up or, or it's it, it's great. But after, like, I would say when you turn, like, 18 and you start making your own decisions and start being in control of your, you know, your uh, plays... It's all up, it, it goes up or down, you know, because like all your parents can do is get you there and get you with the proper education to kind of, you know, because after school, that's when the real school starts, you know, that's why I got my kids gamed up, you know, we, we dealing with real situations like we ain't just dealing with, you know, two plus two equals four, you know, let's deal with some real scenarios, let's deal with some like real, well, how to manage your money, how to um, make sure your taxes is paid and make sure that, you know, um, you're getting ROI, you know. So I would say after, you know, your parents get you to like 18, I mean, that's, I mean, they can help after that. But after 18, you're kind of on your own and we're going to see how far you sail, you know. Are you going to go and discover some more land and Put our put a GM freaking flag in there and you know look back at your you know your ancestors and be like yes I we you know it was we we good you know and, and you know the ugly truth is after 18 I mean it's all up to you you know if you're not up and if you're if you up or if you down it's because of you and yeah there's there's freak accidents but for the most part you can kind of see a lot of this stuff coming. It's all decision making, one on one. I mean, you make good decisions, you get good results. You keep it 100, you get real results. That's why I like to I, I practice solid and keeping it real because you're gonna get the most results, you know, by dealing with the hard problems first, and then the the the, the little problems come on now. After you after we solve the hard ones first, then. You know, the little ones, that, that can't be that hard. So that's why I definitely like to practice, you know, solving the hardest pro problem first, you know, and, and then just always keeping it um a buck, you know. It, it you know, it, it hurts sometimes to hear the truth and, you know, you'd be like, damn, what the hell was that? What the, I just didn't understand it. But one day, you guys will grow to love and respect people that give you that that ugly truth because I mean I, I, I like I like to know what I'm dealing with I like to kind of um you know it's, it's just a good way of being and you're gonna get the best results you know um, a lot of people go do like you can't sit there and fake it for years and expect you know what I'm saying compound interest so it's like I try to keep it as thorough as I can, you know, I, um, I'm not perfect, I'm only excellent, so I definitely, I'm, I'm walking that walk, I definitely encourage everybody else to walk in solid, you know, definitely keep it, um, keep it real, um, solve the most hardest problems first, you know, it, it's, the hardest decisions, they gotta be done, they, they the hard decisions gotta be made. I'd rather make them first. You know, it's just a good way of being. I, I don't really want nobody sitting there blowing smoke on my butt. You know, sitting there fibbing, talking about, you. I really like you, I really like you, this, that, and the other, this, that, and the other, and you really don't. You just kind of around for whatever uh, alternative motive, you know, it may be or whatever. So I definitely um, keep it solid. I want everybody to keep it solid, keep it a buck. You know, and, you know, practice ugly truth. You know, don't be 
afraid to tell your friends the ugly truth because your friend, if your friend's a real friend, like I don't want to deal with somebody that if I tell you something positive or negative about you, you kind of flip out and, you know, go into a, a you know, something that ain't got to be. Um, when people tell people things, it's out of care and concern. That's what I was taught, you know, because I've, I, you know, and I can't go around just telling everybody because if when I tell you in person, that's because I care. I care so much that I can't, um, I can't sit back and be quiet. You know, I can't sit and sit there and the, I can't, the, the good person in me can't just sit there and watch you, you know, go forth without at least some good advice, you know, and, and it may not be the best advice. It may not, it may, you may not can help you. It may can help you. I'm saying just take it in, um, take what you will, you know, throw out whatever garbage you feel is garbage, throw it away and whatever nutrition you, um, you feel is there, be mindful of that. So with that being said, stop running from the ugly truth. Um, stop like, like shawning people that kind of got a, 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 a ugly truth mouth. You know, um, them are the most genuine people because uh, you're going to get what you get. You don't get no boot licking or none of that. You don't want no, um, you don't want no frog, if you will. So with that being said, get out there, get out your own way. Believe in yourself. The world is yours and everything in it.